Hello everyone, welcome to Talk CBD and today we're discussing Diamond CBD and their parent company Pod Network Holdings. So as most of you know we have been informing the community about Diamond CBD lacing their products with synthetics for over two years now and so yesterday we reported that Diamond CBD was found to contain synthetic CBD again. Um, so the question asks is Diamond CBD, you know, what's really going on with them? And uh, so doing some research, one of the questions that came up was, is Diamond CBD running an insider enrichment scheme? And so based on my research, and my opinion is if there's smoke, there's fire. So let's get started. There are wonderful posts on our website. Please go on read everything. I've laid out all my findings, including links. And based on what I'm, I'm finding, it led me to believe that there's something going on with the company. And so I'm gonna take a step back and show you um, what's going on so that way you can understand a little better about the company and then give you the resources that you can use to read and make up your own decision and not just base it on of my opinion so diamond cbd back in 2016 um, parent company pot network holdings appointed charles vaccaro as president back in you know 2016 and so in july of this year charles along with dro silvery and eli type I've been pronouncing the name um, right. If I'm not, um, please apologize. They were arrested for securities fraud and wire fraud by the FBI. So, what's going on here? Let's go back a little bit further. So, Diamond CBD um, um, Pot Network Holdings owner is Kevin Hagen. Kevin also owns First Capital Venture Company, and which also owns White Label Liquid. In Florida, the company is a very large um, white label company, and they includes um, Tommy Chung line, also Lawrence Taylor CBD line. Um, so I've reported many times Diamond CBD has been found with 5F ADB, which is a synthetic um, compound. Um, many reports of people actually getting very very sick of this, and um, it's been first reported over on Reddit where we community tested um, the CBD gummies, the chill CBD gummies and um, it was reported um, back in 2017. 2018 it was reported again in Mooresville, North Carolina that the same synthetic compound was found and somebody got really really sick. In November 2018 Diamond was back in the news again where they tested for the same thing along with DXM and K2, which is AKA Spice. And as many of you do not know, Spice is what's added into um, herbs to get people that feel enough being high um, without having to smoke um, cannabis. Now, so based on this, we started digging deeper. Um, and so according to Michael Good, uh, on the 2nd of August, 2019, the OTC market designated POTM, which is the pot, um, news network, pot network holding, vapor, and CNC as caveat emitter. And all five stocks that I mentioned in this criminal case are marketed as um, caveat emitter. And so caveat emitter is a warning that notifies a buyer that the goods he or she is buying are as is or subject to defects. Now, white label liquid has a history of being tagged this way. Um, there's even public interest um, which was released that says there's constant associated with the company which may include a spam campaign, questionable stock promotions, known inf investigation of fraudulent activity committed by the company or insiders, regulatory suspensions, or disruptive corporate action. And this is according to Investors Hub. Now, Vapor Group um, announced a appointment of 
David Zinger as new president and chief executive officer back in um, 2019. Um, the primary consultant, um, Joe Savary, which is the guy who's got arrested, he resigned, you know. And so Vapor Group is another publicly traded company who specializes in wholesale CBD. So it looks like all of these people are just friends of friends. And based on what we've seen over the past three years, leads us to believe that something fishy is really going on with this company. Now, the other company here, Canacorp or CNCC, is a holding company who's involved in the crypto mining business. Um, so when it comes to the industry, you may hear a lot about blockchain. This is a company specializing in those type of technology for the cannabis industry. And so this leads to belief based on we see with um, Enron and many other companies that they were inside a trade in, there's always a fall guy. And this leads to believe the three guys who got arrested are the fall guys and the companies are not going to be in trouble. Um, this is what happens a lot of times. There's a fine. But this is where we need the community help to dig deeper, to really find out what's going on. Because when a company, after four times, been found to have synthetics, where is the uproar? Nobody's really talking about this. And this, this company not only white labels so many other brands, it also is very big when it comes to um, expos and big CBD conferences because Diamond is one of the companies that have the biggest booths um, available. So the amount of money spent into, into PR, when you go to a lot of um, CBD show, shops and vape shops, all you see is Diamond CBD and their friends. So the question is, what is going on? Please help us, please dive deep, um, share this post. Please tune in tonight if you're on Instagram at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, as Melissa and I will dive deep, discuss this with you, have an open um, questions, and um, hopefully we get to the bottom of what's going on here. If you know anything, please email us at media at cb.how. As always, we appreciate you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.